Hi all, this is Aditya from JS Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss the project number 28. Uh, this is strictly not for the learners or freshers. This is purely for the BI experts. And this, we are going to get the data from uh, BKPF database table to PSA, PSA to DSO, DSO to Cube. And in this case, we, we are, we are uh, going to get the data from BU, BKPF. BKPF is a table which we have in the source system ECC server in which we, are, we have selected four fields, that is BU Keras, BLN, GJHR, BLDAT, and US NAM. Let's go ahead and uh, build a data source. For that, we have to go to the RSO2 in the source system, that is the ECC system. And let's say Z accounts. Z accounts, let's say it's ZJHS underscore accounts. Click on create, and this is like this is related to finance. So let me select the finance related, uh, finance related one particular uh, application component. So I'm selecting finance and accounting general, and this FI GI GL underscore I0. Uh, Any one of you just remember this uh, application component we, because we need to replicate this particular data uh, there in our uh, BI system into that particular account uh, application component okay so now here we are giving the bkpf table bkpf uh, table and in this bkpf uh, we have all those fields which we want to select so just save it Now we get this pop up pack pop up in this we need to get the package name uh, if you have a package it's well and good otherwise we can just give local object because we are not transporting as of now in this particular scenario so click on this local object and then we have we are giving the b and the account number as the selection criteria and uh, remaining things we are going to hide here because uh, we just need uh, only five five fields here and bu cares b l n r g j h r b l a r t BLRT is also not required, so we have not taken that. So remaining all the other fields, we are going to uh, uh, BUDAT, MONAT, MONAT is a fiscal period. We just need to, uh, you know, uh, hide this. Now we have hidden all the values uh, which are not required for us in the data source, and uh, remaining things are there, active. Just save this uh, data source, and once it's been saved, you can either test this from text extraction or you go, you can go to the RSEAT transaction and test it. And uh, here. Uh, we can give the BLNR values. Let's take the BLNR values from the database table level. In this, let's go and um, you know let's check that we have these values. Copy this value, and you can put that in the data source and check if it's working properly or not. I'm going to give something like. Okay, let's make this as two. Okay, for the selection criteria that we have taken, uh, these are the fields that we have in that uh, in the particular system. So here we have all these are the values that we have for this particular fields. And now we'll go back and uh, you know ex extract this data into the BI system. Okay, now let's make let's test it for another value because there are too many values for this particular record selection that we have taken. So last three numbers. I'm going to put as 999. So here we have selection given the selection criteria as uh, uh, you know one followed by uh, remaining zeros with nine. Just execute that, and we have somewhere around 789 records for this particular selection. So this is pretty good. So we are not we're going to proceed with the same uh, you know selection. So let's go ahead and uh, as we have already seen the data is there here, pretty much there. So let's go ahead into the BI system and do the modeling part. We'll start with the modeling of uh, this particular uh, in info objects. And this I'm going to take BKPF underscore IA for accounts. And um, on this particular info area, we need to select the info object catalog for characteristics, info object catalog for key figures. And those characteristics and key figures have to be done. Create info object catalog. BKPF underscore I go see. Mm -hmm. 
bkpf underscore i ok make sure you change the radio button there so right click on this characteristics this we have a bu caras let's take bu caras as this and this is uh, accounts B B company code this is company code and for the company code the length the type is character and the length is 4 type is character length is 4 activate then the next one is we are going to take is blnr blnr and character and length is 10 so once this is activated let's create the and remaining one more one more characteristic is U us nam these are the three different things that we are and, uh, and this gjhr and bldat let's take it in the key figures bkpf mpu caras b e l n r account number say ok this is character and uh, length is 10 save and activate next is we have us nam us nam username we have character and the length is 12 length is 12 save and activate once we have this key figures right click on the key figures and in this we have the key figures is gjhr here or in fact uh, this fiscal year we can take it as uh, something else like uh, uh, let's cancel this because we let's no we'll take this uh, standard uh, time characteristic for that for fiscal year gjhr and let's take bldat now right click on this create info object bldat let's create date yymmdd save and activate now at the info provider level we need to create the data dso and uh, the cube so create dso and here we have bkpf underscore dso dso for bkpf and just say ok create create and in this we just need to create um, info object catalogs we just need to select that characteristics i'm putting account number as a key field because it's unique and uh, company code i'm putting in data fields username also i'm putting in the data fields and then we need to click the key figures in the key figures we have this particular date also we are putting in the key data fields because uh, it, it there's no other option we have to take that in the data in the data fields itself because it's a key figure Characteristics, as you know, can be put either in key fields or data fields. So once this has been done and activated, uh, we'll go ahead and create the cube. In addition to this, we need to add one more time characteristics in this in for bit direct input, and then we have zero FISC fiscal year because we have the fiscal year there. So we are going to add that also as a data field here select that and activate now once we are back we need to right click on this create info cube and in, in bkpf underscore ic click on create and on this we are going to create it for we're going to drag drag this into the dimension dimension one and key figures we are going to drag and drop into the key figures and next uh, we are going to have this uh, time characteristics in the time characteristics we need to go for info object direct input zero fisc here that is what we need to select and say ok 
and activate. Once the cube is created, uh, the, our modeling part is over. We need to go ahead into the data source. In the data source, we need to change the source system as uh, T90 CLNT because that's the source system for us. And uh, do any one of you remember the application component name? We need to search it for that. FI FIGL. First, let me go into FIGL and in that FIGL I0. Okay, great. Right click on this, replicate metadata, and it will take some time to replicate all those data sources that we have in the source system into the BI system. These data sources have been replicated. So it's in gray mode because it's not yet activated. Double click on this, display change, activate. Once it's activated, once the data source is activated, uh, what else you need to do? You need to create the info package. Under this, we need to create the info package and load the data from the BI system. And we need to make sure that the, 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 the selection that we have given in the so ECC system has to be given the year. That thousand, uh, one followed by some zeros and all. Now we have successfully activated the data source. Right click on this, create info package. And we have uh, BKPF underscore IP, just say OK. You can give any name, uh, but uh, we always need to follow the naming convention when we are doing in the project. So just have, okay, let me copy that particular value here. All that I'll do is last number, I'll just replace it with nine. Check, it's perfectly fine. Start, and once we start, the data will be loaded to the PSA. So we'll, uh, once we do that, once you have clicked on start, we just need to go to the monitoring button, select this and click on the PSA. Just check whether the data has been successfully loaded into the PSA. Yes, the data has been perfectly loaded into PSA. Now go ahead and uh, create the transformations and DDP. Uh, create the transformations and DDP at the DSO level. And first we load the data into DSO and then into the cube. So let's go ahead into the info provider level. Right click on this, create transformations. And in this data source, and what exactly is the data source name that we have given there? Yes, any idea? What was that? This is our data source name, ZJHS underscore ACC, which we have created at the source level, not here. So right click on this, create transformations, create data source, ZJHS underscore ACC, and uh, the source system is T90 CLNT 090, and just say OK to the transformations now. Once we have done the transformations, company code to company code, uh, document type Belnar to Belnar, fiscal year to the fiscal year, and uh, so for the fiscal year variant, uh, we have given this as a constant. Under this constant, we have different fiscal year variants, like we have K1, K2, K3. So we have given the K3 here, and then transfer values, and then activated the transformations. And once we have successfully activated the transformations, we need to create the DTP as you already know, and. Uh, and we also need to activate the data once we leave the data into the DSP. Right click on this, create DTP and data transfer process, just say OK. And uh, we need to make it as full upload, execute, activate this. Once the DTP is successfully act activated, just click on execute. And yes. And uh, once the data has been successfully loaded, we need to activate the data here. Go to the data target, select this record and activate this. Select this and again start. So this is successfully loaded. Now let's go ahead and uh, check the data in the contents now. The data will be filled in this. So this data, we, we have successfully loaded the data into the DSO. And in this, after this, we need to go ahead and uh, you know load this data into a cube. For that, we need to right click on this cube and build the transformations, create transformations. And in this transformations, we are going to create the data DSO as the source. And in this, we have BKPF underscore DSO is the source. Just say OK. So what we have done is we have created the transformations and DDP for the cube and then executed. And this is the data that we have in the cube now. So we have successfully loaded the data from uh, PSC to DSO, DSO to Cube. 